spill the tea with Alicia G. She are following on all social media, Alicia G World. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell for notifications too. And uh, let's go, boom, boom, baby. Tonight we have a special guest. I am Sloan with Bone Thugs and Harmony. Woo, this is gonna be a fun one. Guys, remember, push out negativity, push in the positivity, the best it to come just disbelief. Oh, we're just having a fabulous day, fabulous night, and we're gonna get this party started here in just a few short moments with an exclusive interview, spilling the tea with the one, the only, I am slow. Let's see if he's uh, ready. And everyone should I love, Juju, everyone, Yasha, Kabasa, OG Ho, Valley, and C. Yes, guys, I love all the tickets. Yashua, and C, everyone here, OG Ho, the AG Army. Boom, boom, baby. Be sure to hit that plus sign up there. Be sure you're following, subscribing, tapping on the screen. All Alicia G World. I want tea, or we're gonna get some exclusive tea. Let's see if um, let's have a great time. Let's see if he's ready. What do you think, guys? Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, Yeshua! And run it up, baby. Oh, oh baby. And run it up, baby. Yeah, she'll go. Boom, boom, baby. Yeah, she'll thank you. Happy to drop it like it's hot. And run it up, baby. Boom, boom, baby. Yeah, she'll thank you. No, I'm seriously absolutely amazing. Guys, you're following, sharing, tap out that screen. We're gonna get litty, we're gonna get juicy. We go, we are litty, we're juicy, bossy, be delicious on Spill the Tea with your host, yours truly of Alicia G. Spill the Tea with Alicia G. Where is I am Sloan? Where is the man of the hour? Where is he? Where is he? I don't know. Where is the Sloan? I don't know. We gotta find him. I don't know where he is. Oh, I think I found him. We find him. After the food, I am Sloan. What's up? Hello, hello. What up? What up? What are you doing today, Mr. I am Sloan? I'm, I'm doing good. How are you? How are you? Amazing and awesome. Thank you for joining me here on Spill the Tea with Alicia G. What's going on? Of course, it's a pleasure. The pleasure, it's a pleasure is mine. To Guys, you're following, sharing, tap on that screen. I'll give it to you. Share out this live, bring it litty, bring it juicy, bring it boss, bring it absolutely be delicious, and spill some exclusive tea with the one and only. I am slowed. I am slowed. So, well, you're doing great and everything. You're busy all the time. Thank you for making the time to join me here on Spill the Tea with Alicia G. Before we get started, do you want to shout out your social medias? People can follow you. I know you couldn't pick a better time. This was perfect because we had an off good. day. This is a perfect day. I'm like, yeah, I'm like the sixth day. Okay, I could do that. I definitely. Live from Chicago, by the way, everybody. So I am the Windy City. <laughs> what are you doing in Chicago? <laughs> right. Um, nice to meet you, Pro. Um, I'm we on tour. We had a show last night with uh, we had a show last night with TLC. So we on tour right now. So I'm out here. I'm my manager. All right. So, so it was pretty. Where did Mr. Sloan actually grow up? Uh, Long Beach, California. Uh, yep, Long Beach, California, man. By the way, I used to go to Cleveland on the weekends, but nice to meet you too, man. I used to go to Cleveland on the weekends and shit, but it was too cold. <laughs> I, I, used, I used to hate going to that motherfucker. 
So I, we used to go on the, I used to go, I tried to make it in the summertime thing to go visit my brothers and shit. But the good thing was they, uh, they ended up moving to LA before, you know, so I wasn't, I wasn't going too many, too many years yeah, in a do row. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you have a big family, small family? Uh, yeah, I got, I got, shit, let me, let me count them. Let me see. I got, uh. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. About, I think, six, five brothers. Oh, my goodness. And four sisters. That must be crazy around the holidays. Oh, my goodness. I mean, you would think so, but not really, because I, I don't really get to see them all. For the most part, I get to see most, well, most of them, but. We used to have family reunions all the damn time, but now we don't no more. I don't know why, because most of our, our our parents passed away. But but um, it's it's pretty cool though. It's like we can't, you know. I see him. I work with my brother, so it's like I cannot yeah, not exactly. see him. You know what I mean? <laughs> so that's you know. So like growing up, how was school like for you? Were you like the the popular one, the sporty one, the brainy one, like? What was school like for you? Tell us a little bit, a little, little baby Sloan, you know, Ooh. tell us. <laughs> school for me was cool, you know what I mean, until 1993, 92, because that's when, that's when, they, that's when, that's when we got okay. famous per se, you know what I mean? And so it was like, like I would be in school, like talking to people, like, like dog, we about to make this, we about to make this shit happen. Motherfuckers thought I was lying until until shit got on the radio. And it was all good. They was like, "Oh my god, I can't believe this shit." And yeah, I'm like, it went down like that. Yeah, it goes. That's how it went. But I would like even my my um even my teachers and shit would be like, be like, "Are you serious?" I used to get caught writing music in class. I would do my work. But I would get called writing music in class at the same time. They're like, "What are you writing? Like, what? What is? What is this? All this? What are you writing all the time?" I'm like, "Look, man, we rap. We about to get this big ass contract." And I'm telling you, it's going down. They were like, "People be like, shut the fuck. It ain't going down like that. It's not no way possible. Like who? Like you know what I mean? I'm like, all right, cool. Like you'll figure it out. And then when when uh when Easy and my brother. And Lazy Bone is, but what people don't know, Lazy Bone and Flesh, my two older brothers from Bone Thugs and Army. But when they came and picked me up from school one day, it, NWA was big in the motherfucker. So you know, I'm like, I'm like, well, what's going on in the front of the school where everybody running to the front of the school? Like, what the fuck is happening out there? <laughs> I mean, so I'm, I take my dumb ass, I run out there too. So as I'm running out there, I'm like, I'm like, oh shit, it's my goddamn family out here. Like, what? So everybody like, what the fuck? Like, do you this know these? Real. I'm like, this this, this really I told you, what's going down? Yeah, I told you, I told you. yeah. Because you know, in the, at that time, NWA was the biggest, biggest rap group of the time at that era, right then and there. Legendary, it's still one of the iconic. biggest to ever touch the microphone. But now, but right. But now, like growing so up, that was crazy. Did you, like, did you do your homework or like skip school? Like, how was how was baby slow? Like, how was But okay. I did I did all my homework. I didn't skip school. Like I, I went to school because nobody in my family graduated. Ever. <laughs> so I was like, I made a promise to my parents. I said, I will graduate high school. I promise you this. I will graduate high school. So I did that. I went to college for like a half a semester and then Shit, I got my first rap That's check rap. and that was over. So I was like, you know what? This ain't. <laughs> I was like, this ain't. I come back to school later, dog. It's all good. Did <laughs> you really play any sports? Cool. Were any clubs, instruments, anything like that growing up? Oh yeah, I played everything: basketball, baseball, football, um, ran track all that so i was i got scholarships to go to schools and all kind of shit yeah but i just it's just music was 
paying faster. And you know, coming from coming from nothing, shit. <laughs> coming from nothing, you gotta go where the money at. I promise you that. You know what I'm saying? It's like it's like, do I wanna keep going to school or do I wanna pay I wanna get this paper over here? You know what I mean? I chose to get the money. <laughs> do it. It's mandatory. If I want to keep wearing Jordans every motherfucking every week, I gotta keep. I gotta. I gotta go get this buddy. Now, you know what now I mean? growing up in so, school, yeah. like, um, you did the sports and athletic. You did your homework. Well, thank you. All that. Now, did you go to like a lot of parties? Were you a partier? I'm before famous. Before famous. Like we're gonna keep it there. Don't get in your face. <laughs> um. Yeah, I mean, well, yeah, hell yeah, I did. Like, I always went to parties because we rapped at the parties all the damn time. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because I was, I always rapped at the parties, but I always, I always went to parties and shit. But I always had my schoolwork together, though. Don't get that twisted. My schoolwork was always together, but I went to a lot of parties and shit and did. Because I, I followed my older brothers. You know what I mean? They was always. You know, I got older brothers too, so it's like they would always go somewhere, and I would just, I would, I would, I would hang around them, or force them to let me hang around them. <laughs> I'd be like, if, you, if if I don't get to go, I'm telling on y'all. I you promise. Like, <laughs> like sneak out, <laughs> sneak like, out at night, or sneak like, out at night or anything like that. Huh? Oh hell yeah! Hell Do yeah! You ever get detention? Do you ever get detention? <laughs> hell yeah! No what you know what? A couple times. You not never often got though. Detention. I never got detention. Not often. Like I, I Oh. I, how did you pull I, that I off? Just, I'm 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 an angel. Can't you me? <laughs> no, I, 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 <laughs> okay. I would not even go to school <laughs> unless my homework was done. I'd freak out like I, I can't. Like I, I had a real OCD. I had to have my homework done. I had to study. I was I was a little bit of a bookworm. I loved it though, you know. Um, I was bullied like crazy, but right. um, I did my work. I got out of there, graduated ninety five point seven eight GPA, and boom, boom, baby, you know. Right. See, and that was the thing about me too. I graduated Very with a three point nice. nine eight GPA. So, and like nobody thought I did homework though. I'm like, like I would come home. My mom would be like, "Where's your homework at?" I'm like, "I did it already." <laughs> she be like, yeah, fucking right. I'm like, I promise you, I did the work already. I promise, because like, I wasn't like, I was in um oh, those wow. advanced classes. So you know what I mean. So I did all the advanced, class, like the honors, the honors classes and shit. So my class, my in my room, there wasn't a lot of people, mind you. I damn, near, I think I was the only black person in my class on some real shit. All my friends was never him. They be like, How, what class? What what classes you got? I'm like, bro, you can't sit in the classes I'm in. Like school was real easy to me, you know what I mean? So I had a lot of advanced classes. So we was like on our, we was doing college shit. It was like, you know, if you ever go to college, you're like, well, you know, you got this paper due. Had this paper due in two months, and that's kind of what the fuck it was. Like there, 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 there. I've, 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 I have a a, a, a assignment. But the shit was only due every three weeks. So it was like, people was like, if you don't do homework, I'm like, I swear to God, I do it. It's just that for my classes, like, our grades are based on two, three papers per semester. <laughs> so it was like, that was easy to me. And there was a lot of study, but it was easy. You feel me? So I, I you know, I really didn't. But I, I made sure I did all my That's shit, great. though. You know what I mean? I told, my, I told myself I wasn't going to be dumb. That's what I wasn't going to be. Is a dumbass he's kid. A smarty, That's, that he's a smarty, y'all. He's a smarty, and he's talented and handsome, and he, he's he's Mr. I Am Sloan. Boom, 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 baby. <laughs> Guys, you're following, <laughs> sharing, tap on that screen. Right. This is Bill the T with Alicia G and our special guest star, I Am Sloan. Boom. What's up, everybody? What's cracking? Oh, so. <laughs> The whole uh, school thing, you're smart, did sports, went to little parties here and there. Um, were you a ladies' man? 
Oh, that was good. Yes. <laughs> like dated more than hey, one oh, girl yeah. at a time. I mean. Oh, oh yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> I mean, who's I mean, who's faithful at fucking teenage? What teenagers you know are faithful? Like on some real shit. I mean, you got some, but I was man, shit. I had, <laughs> but I have brothers though. I had a lot of. I see my old. I used to watch my brothers. They was running through. Shit, they was going through females. So it was like. I had no nothing but that. You know what I mean? I do nothing but get as Party many as you animal, can. ladies, man. <laughs> what is, like, the craziest date you have ever been on? The craziest date. Hmm. I'm trying to think. Craziest date. Um... Fun wise or Either like or. shit that went bad. Crazy wild, crazy fun, <laughs> crazy adventurous. What would you like to spill the tea? One one day, one day that I went on, I was young and like it was fucked up because like I had just got this white polo shirt, right? Brand new all white polo shirt. And the girl I was talking to I was talking to for about for like two weeks. Or like a month. So, like, we had end up getting into a fucking argument over what I don't know. I forget what the argument was, but I'm in her car. Mind you, she was driving. So I'm arguing with her in the car. We sitting outside my house. And, like, I had just got a Slurpee from damn 7-Eleven. Like a cherry Slurpee. I just got it. So as we're arguing, I forget about what, she just dumps the whole Slurpee on my shirt. And I was like, oh, you bitch. <laughs> like, I'm like, you bitch. And the crazy shit was, this is about, this is about the time that I think, what the fuck was going on in the world? It just happened. Some riots. Just Rodney, I think Rodney King, the riot from fucking Rodney King was going on. So, like, crazy shit was racism was at an all-time high. You understand what I'm saying? I mean, it was it was fucked up. It was like in L.A., black and white was not the happy getting along. Man, she looked at me and was like, and you know you better not do nothing. I said, you're right. First of all, I've never talked to hit women. Crazy ass, for one. And number two, I would never do it in my damn life. And then the craziest shit, as I'm trying to get out the car, she won't let me get out the car. Locks the doors. I'm like, what the fuck are you? Like, I'm you like, wanted, this don't make no sense. Long go. I'm like, like let no, me mine. out. <laughs> <laughs> if you was that mad, you just poured drink on me already. You feel me? You just did this already. So now I want to get out because I'm getting pissed off. And I don't get mad. I'm, I'm very hard to piss off. Like, you could do a lot of shit to me, and I really won't get mad. I just, I know how to channel my, channel my anger. So I'm like, just let me out this motherfucking car. And I'm like, she just won't let me out. She's like, you have to get out the car, you're going to break the window. I'm like, I'm not breaking the window to get it. I'm like, wait a minute, man. Let me out the car. So what happened, <laughs> my fucking sister pulls up. By the grace of God, I see my sister pulled up. I'm like, get me out this motherfucking car. So she was able to tell the girl to let me out the damn car, man. That, that was, was crazy as a well, right That there. right there was hostile crazy. <laughs> oh, yeah. I was scared. I was the dude and I was scared. I'm like, I don't know what she's going to do next. Oh, <laughs> Shit. Would you say that that's that was the crazy, worst date you ever had? You but, you the know, worst it was, one? The worst one? That probably is the worst crazy, one. Crazy, amazing date you want to share with the us? The worst. Oh, I don't right. think y'all ready that for that. <laughs> uh, I don't even think it's a date, man. It's not even a date. It was just something that happened while we was at a show. Um, We went out. 
I'm a I'm a rena- name no names because these dudes is famous too. So I can't I ain't gonna put it out there like that. And then married, so I can't oh, really I ain't gonna get out like that. But some of my artists homies, some of my artists homies, you know what I'm saying? We was at a damn show, right? So we had these girls, and it was about five of them. Me and one of my one of my friends, we drinking champagne, everything, getting a jacuzzi and everything, right? So after we done with that, it's like, what's next? So you know what's next? You know what's next? So it's like, all right, we go to the hotel, we go in the room. I'm like, I'm like, shit. I'm like, I asked my homie, I'm like, I hope you got some condoms. He's like, I don't have none. I said, oh, dog. I, and I only had one. <laughs> so I'm like, I, I'm, I'm like, I don't know what to tell you. So we all, we all, the, the funny shit, we all get in the shower though. There's seven of us in the fucking shower. Getting hot up in here, guys. Share that so, live. Respond I'm the only team, one with Mr. a I am slow Woo! I'm the I'm the only one with a condom though. So a oh boy like a oh boy like I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm like cool. So I'm thinking as he leaves, everybody else leaving besides the one person I was really talking to. The girl stayed in the shower oh, with he's me. Having all the fun, eh? <laughs> but man, I don't know what it was or how. But I end up, I end up doing all five of them. And my boy, look, the next morning, this is like, this, it gets crazy because the next morning, I go downstairs. We about to leave the hotel, right? All these girls still downstairs. They all still down there. Everybody's still. And then I, I see my, my, my other boy. They look and they like, Sloan, what you do? I'm like, I, what you mean what I do? They said, man, them motherfuckers came down here to my soul. There's a beast up there. I was, hey, what? <laughs> I, I was about, I was about 25, though. I was young. I was young, though. So I could, I could, I could manage that at that age. That age, I could, I could really go there like that. I was like, damn, that's crazy, man. We still talk about that shit to today. <laughs> so that was one of the craziest times on the road. So. That was fun, thank though. You. I had fun. Thank y'all. Thank y'all, thank y'all for the gifts. Thank you guys so much. Boom, boom, baby. Oh, my goodness. We have the smart, rapper, talented, ladies' man, partier animal in the house. Oh, my goodness. It's Bill Natchy. <laughs> boom, boom, baby. <laughs> Once again, thank you for joining us here, guys. Get in those fail lotteries. Everyone showing love. I appreciate you all so much. We have an exclusive here with I Am Sloan Bone, the party animal, the talented, the handsome, the ladies' man himself. I Am Sloan Bone. Share following, sharing, tapping that screen, on social media, Alicia D. World. Hit that bell for notifications, subscribe, all that fun jazz. Follow I Am Sloan, follow yep. myself, and let's post more tea. What do you say, guys? So. What got you in <laughs> to the music business? I mean, like, was it like, what was it? Just, what got you? you? Just like start singing in the shower, little kids, like spill the tea. Uh, my brothers, bottom line, I, I was, I wasn't, I was an athlete. I really wasn't in the, I mean, I was always in the, I was always in the music, but I never thought me rap. No, not at all. Like they did. I didn't like, but. I could always write music though. See, I could write the shit out of some music. So I would write it, but I wouldn't rap it. I didn't have a voice for it. And then I was like, I'm cool. But what ha- what really made me get into it, I, I ain't gonna even lie to you, is when my cousin, they had a group, right? They had a group. And I'm like, I wanted to be a part of their group bad as hell. And they told me when I rapped for them, they was like, I'm not good enough. I said, I'm not good enough? Okay. So that was, that was, that was the, that was the really jump start for me. You told me I wasn't good enough. I'm good enough to do anything. 
You know what I mean? But you telling me I'm not good enough to be a part. I got, okay, now I got a mission to do. Now I got to complete this mission. Now I got to get in your group. Now what happened is I, I have to be better than you now. This is, this is my whole mission is to be better than y'all now. Like, cause I couldn't be a part of this. So it's now I'm, I'm, I'm going to be better like, than you. Really? I'll, I'll so let me show did, you now. Like, yeah, it. I'm, Bring it. I'm a, I definitely got something for you. Yeah, I got something for you. So I start fucking, I start, I start hanging with the best rappers I knew, period. The best, the best of the best. I start going to all of the battles, everything. I said, I'm going to hang. The only way to be the best is to hang with the best and put myself in a p- p- position to be, you know, the, with the best. Man, I'm telling you, a year later, when I went back to my cousins and we sat in that car, I was like, all right, I'm ready to, let's freestyle. Come on, y'all, let's do this. Yeah, I'm like, let's do this now. Y'all okay, okay, this is what y'all want to do. Let's do this now. So they get, they, they rapping, they doing they shit. It's my turn, right? So I do, I do my shit. They're like, oh, they're like, okay, I see you got better. I'm like, yeah, okay, cool. But, you know, they expect me to fall off the second time around. I'm spot on again. They're like, what the hell? Like, who the hell you? Been? And then I, and then I, and then I, then I did it again. I'm like, this is the third time y'all gonna be fucking with me. So I just, they like, oh shit. They like, damn dog, like, that shit is crazy. <laughs> like, how the fuck, like, who the, where you been? Who you been hanging with? I'm like, don't worry about that. I've been hanging with the right people. So then, you know, and then I was, after that, I took off. Dog. Like, it was, it was crazy. You know what I mean? Then I learned how to, like, I could write songs and shit, but then after that, it was a rap. How old, you, how old were you when you basically really started to, like, I, I want to do music? How old were you? Mm, 16. Sure, and love guys. Thank you so much. You're found myself and the amazing, the talented, the party animal, the ladies' man. I am Sloan Bone. Share that live. It's Spill the Tea with Alicia G and I am Sloan Bone. So, you're in this group, this amazing, iconic, legendary group. How did you guys meet? Bone Thugs Harmony. How did you guys meet? Like, uh, you're actually. Family. We all felt like related. Oh my goodness, that is so yeah. cool. Um, yeah, we have been in Boston November second, bow tie. Um, yeah, me, me, lazy, and flesh. Those are my two older brothers from Bone. Wish our cousin, um, crazy bone and busy bone. A long time friends. Everybody grew up on the same block in the same area. How so long that's how that worked. you all been together? Oh, is it for life basically? Because you're basically all family or? Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. But professionally, 27 awesome. years. And that's a huge milestone. Susan, congratulations. Yeah, that, because any other group wouldn't last as long, but believe That is for sure. That is definitely that, that wouldn't happen. That depth, that depth. Yeah, so we was, you know, we did our thing. Thank y'all, A and I. Huge congratulations, <clears throat> seriously. That's yeah, for amazing. Seriously, it's amazing. How did you get your name? Right. Well, Lazy came up with it. It was an acronym at first. It was B O N E. It was like it was called. Uh, it was beating on niggas every day, brew it out niggas every day. Um, and oh, it was the acronym, out. you know what I mean? Okay. Uh, but yeah, but, but easy is the, oh. is the person who put the thugs in harmony in that. It was just bone at first, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. That, that was that. But first and foremost, the, the first, the first, um, Name of the group was called the uh, the Band Aid Boys. That's back in the day, though. It's called the Band Aid Boys, and then um, and then you had Bone, which was the acronym, and then Thugs and Harmony came in, came from Easy because he was like he was like y'all some thugs in harmony. He's like that's the name Bone Thugs and Harmony, and that 
that was it right there. As soon as he, as soon as he named that, then it was Mo Thugs. Cause they, as we all know, Thug is rug is bone. Lazy got the rap that said, roll with the bone, Mo Thugs gonna follow. And that's how Mo Thugs came about. But it still was off. It was, we was all the same fucking thing. So you had bone thugs, Mo Thugs. We was all the same big ass. It, it was all the same shit. So that's how that, sh- that came to fruition like that. And the rest is history from there. You know what I mean? <laughs> Falling out of control. The bone thugs. <laughs> oh, right. Um, what were your musical inspirations growing up? Your biggest influencers? Influences? Um, a lot of oldies. You know, you had like a like a like oldies, like you know, like Aretha Franklin, Nita Baker. Um, <clears throat> um. You had the Delphonics, then Snoop Dogg, Ice Cube, NWA, KRS One, Run DMC. Um, uh, Nas, like a bunch of them dudes. So, you know, that was that was like pretty much my influence. But being from Long Beach, Snoop Dogg was the guy. You know what I mean? I thought Snoop Dogg was the best rapper ever at one point, <laughs> and he still don't. But I'm just saying. Snoop was the best rapper ever to me at one point. I was like, nobody can beat Snoop Dogg ever. Like, he's the hands down, he's the man. I, don't give, I didn't give a damn who you talk about. Nobody's better than Snoop. So, I, that was pretty much where I stood right there. I was like, nobody's better than Snoop. And he's from my city, too. Hell yeah. I was like, it's going down. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. How do you not like Snoop? How do you not like Snoop? Who doesn't like Snoop Dogg? Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? And he's a cool motherfucking person, though. And then for you not to, I mean, I can get why some people might not, but it's more personal than it is just on a, on a, on a, it's more, it'd be a more personal level than I just don't like the guy. You know what I mean? Opposed to today, like when you got new rappers and shit, like new rappers and new artists, they're always like, I don't like that dude. And then I'm at, I might ask you, like, why don't you like that person? I don't know. I just don't like him. You don't even know this person. I don't like him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? How do you like? How do you he, not like somebody dog. you I don't mean, know? You, know? He's, he's you know what I mean? Bro, I'm saying like, how, how do you? How does that even work? So I'm like, well, you can't. You know, that's what I'm saying. A lot of new people do that. They're like, I don't like that person. This. I'm like, well, you can't really like not like somebody that you don't know. Now, if you don't like the music, I understand that. I get it. Like, everybody's entitled to, like, with whatever they want to like. You feel me? So, I get it. I, I feel you. I don't like a lot of the music, but do I do I like, do I dislike the person? No, of course not. I don't know him to dislike the person. You know what I mean? Unless you just some type of fucking, some type of criminal, some type of race, not racist, but some type of pedophile or some type of woman beater or some type of you know what I mean? Some type of something like that. Then I um, then I don't like you. Even if I don't know you, I don't like you because you fit the you do this stupid shit. You know what I mean? That's dumb. It, it's, it's, but I can't not like you just because I feel like not liking you. That's stupid right. as hell. You can't <laughs> judge dumb. a book by its cover. But you know exactly. You cannot. cannot. No. Oh, not at all. That is for sure. Not at all. Because I used to think, you know what? I used to think, like, I had fell on the, the fucking bandwagon of, like, the new artists. Oh, they're dumb as hell, this and this and that. Like, they don't know nothing. But I'm like, dog. I thought I'd think to myself now. I said, when I was 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, it had a lot of money. What the fuck was I doing? I was doing the same shit that they do. Besides, minus the drugs. You know what I mean? Minus drugs. Minus all that. Minus that bullshit. But I was doing the same thing that they was doing. Partying. Talked about money. Lived a fast life. Did all this shit. So it's like, can I be mad at them for talking about that shit? No. I can't. I really can't. Because what do you do when you're a young kid and you got all this goddamn money? You blow it. You know what I'm saying? No. That's what what you're going to do. Now, what's going on? Now, I wish that... See, here comes the point where 
I was, I was kind of, I'm fucking mad because Easy died because he was teaching us how to move in this game. You know what I mean? How, how was it was he was teaching us how this shit work? And we did not know he died. By the time he died, he we don't know. You know what I mean? So at the time, we blew a lot of fucking money. You know what I mean? And then not having it, it's like, oh shit. And then we forgot, you know, you know, you we didn't nobody taught us about taxes and shit like that. You know what I mean? I still go through tax fucking problems right now for shit that happened back in back in the day. I still I still got shit going on because I did not know. You gotta figure I was I was a nigga, they they fucking went to jail for this shit. And I was contemplating on doing it because I was like, dog, I don't have the amount of money to pay y'all <laughs> what y'all want. I'm like, I don't, I don't make that. Like, what do you, you know what I mean? So I didn't. I was like, well, my other, my other option was, well, how much time are y'all really talking about if I got to go to jail? <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, for real, Martin, they want everything. So I'm like, well, what kind of time are we talking about here? You feel me? I'm fucking with the fed. You know, this is federal shit. This ain't, this ain't state. This ain't. This is every bit. You got to do a damn near 100 percent of your time. So I'm like, well, how much time are we talking? So the dude was like, um, yeah, Wesley Snipes did the same shit. So I'm like, well, what the fuck? Like, and then I said, all right, cool, because they came back was like 18 months. I'm like, oh, all right, like. I was like, okay, like, cool, I could, hey, all right. But the problem was, you go to jail and you still got to pay these motherfuckers the money. You don't get out the debt. You still got to pay these motherfuckers the money. You ain't getting out of it now. You go to jail, come back, and you still got to pay. You go to jail, come, you still got to pay these people their money. You know what I'm saying? So you have to pay it regardless. Now, if you keep missing these motherfucking payments, your ass gonna be going, keep going back and forth to jail. That's gonna be, that's the problem. So I was like, dog, I was like, man, I was like, you know what? I can't do that. So I was like, fuck it. I told him, I, and the amount that they was asking was crazy. Like they was asking for a ridiculous amount. I mean, per month though. I'm like, they was at, what they was asking? 10, 10, 10, 10 G's a month. Security help. <laughs> I, I'm like, I'm looking at this shit like, you got to be fucking kidding me, right? Who the fuck makes that? But on paperwork, on our paperwork, we made that. You know what I mean? Group, As a whole. You know what I mean? As a whole. Mm -hmm. Wonderful. You know what I mean? And I fought. I was like, I fought. I'm like, dog, how do we get out of this shit? How do I, you know what I mean? So I'm like, well, what do I have to fucking do? No, no lawyer, no, nobody could help me. They would shoot them. They would shoot them motherfuckers down. They was like, we don't give a fuck who you bring to the table. You owe this and this is what it is. I don't give a fuck what it is. I'm like, this is crazy. So, you know, that that was, you know, so that's why that goes to say that new artists, I hope they fucking paying attention so they don't have to go through that. And save money. I wish I would have known how to save money and buy property and shit like that. I didn't know nothing. You, you know what I mean? Learn I didn't know how to here today. That's that. what matters, I just wanted to buy. You know? So what right. was the big break for you and the group that just took you from here to I'm on the radio, people know who I am, I'm famous. Like, what was the song? What was the thing that did it? Across the cross. The song. That, that. Like, Thuggish Ruggish was the shit. First of the month was the shit. It's all good. The Mo Thug anthem was Thug Devotion was the shit. But when Crossroads dropped, oh, it was over. Legendary status from here on out. It's a wrap. You know what I mean? And it was just going, it just, it just, it just went haywire from there. I mean, it was the number one song at that, at that point. It had beat Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson from all time on the charts. You know what I mean? The most fucking week, the most weeks at number one. Oh. So I had beat Michael Jackson. And that's what ended up, that's what ended up, Bone ended up getting the Michael Jackson award because oh he had an award. 
So he that's the first and only Michael Jackson award. You know what I mean? They got got the award. So that's what catapulted to another to a whole mm-hmm. another level. You know what I mean? Now, like these awards, are they? Do you do you have them? One of your brothers? Like, where are these awards? No, got them. Yeah, we got them. The Grammys, the Platinum Grammy? Records, the Gold Records, and shit. Yeah, that's why I think I think of my picture, like picture right here. I got the I Grammy for Crossroads, man. Yo, I am so going. He's got a Grammy, y'all. Oh my god, boom, boom, baby. Like, it work, like if they want to, if somebody click on my picture right now, that picture oh is me god. holding the Grammy for Crossroads. This is amazing. Seriously, what a epic, <laughs> legendary achievement. People don't. I mean, to see one in person, let alone hold one, let alone be honored with one. That's just amazing. Guys, boom, boom, baby. That's absolutely amazing. Get up for I Am Slow, guys. That's seriously Right. I mean, I, that's definitely wonderful. It's like, that's the whole different level of, you know what I'm saying? That That yeah, is just something different. You know what I mean? Thanks, OG. That's just... That's just crazy, though. Like, you know, but I need a couple more. I'll be your date <laughs> to the Grammys. I don't mind. <laughs> free clothes, too. It's free. I just want to go to the Grammys, y'all. Now I go. I mean, you would have fun. If you've never been, you would have fun. And, and, and you know, you would have fun if you've never been. But. You know, once you win one, you get a lifetime membership. You can go to Grammys whenever you want to. Well, yeah, we're captain. I'm captain. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. What year did it first start the crew? Bone has been around. Bone and Mocha has been around since we was. Let me see. Lazy was 14. He was a He 14. 14 is when they started. That's amazing. True. Anyway, if we go to the Grammys, we wear like little black and white. You know, black for gangster, the white for pimpin. That that looks hot. You know, you know, color dress. Yeah, I mean, oh, you will love it. You will love. It. Want me to take the best thing? No, we never signed with Tupac, but we did a song with Tupac. Yeah, we did a song with Pop. But um, like the Grammys, you would love it because it's like the, the best thing about the Grammys. I ain't gonna lie to you, is the green room and the red carpet. Because the gift bags you get at that motherfucker is amazing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? The gift bag. When you go in there, you go in the green room, they got gift bags for everybody. You get you get the gift bag. and you. And, I mean, you got from everything to shit. You got champagne in the bag. You got clothes. You get gift cards. Like thousand dollars. This shit is crazy. You go every year, actually. So I go for that. No, hell no. I, I like when I learn. Damn, seven. When I learn, I would. I kind of don't like how they ran. You know what I mean? Like I don't. I don't really like how they ran no more because, like, I think the people who get Grammys these days don't like the people who deserve them don't get them. You know what I mean? Like I'm just like ah, I'm like I know like you you know it's kind of like. You ever, like the movies, like, you know, people like film of the year, and you be like, what fucking movie was that? Like, who's seen that? Like, you know what I mean? Like, who, how? Like, what the fuck is that about? You know what I mean? And you know, damn well, you know, damn well, everybody watched this other movie, and it was a great movie, but this movie comes out of nowhere and gets the damn, and gets the Oscar, you know, best film of the year. Or this actress, this actor, we're like, who the fuck is that? The that is got that? This act- you got Denzel over here. Yeah, who the fuck is that? Like, you got Denzel over here, and then you got this whoever getting best actor. Like, wait a minute, dog, that is not right. Like, what the? Would you? So say it's it's crazy. Bit? Like, we say it's a little bit. But now I know they do. Have- hell yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. Yeah, hell yeah. They got a. Yeah, hell yeah. They got a committee who um. Who votes on that shit like that? You know what I mean? It's not a public thing. It's not like the numbers thing. It's this a committee of people that vote on this shit. They don't, it ain't, it ain't the public. It ain't, and I think the public should vote mm-hmm. on all these awards. You know what I mean? Like 
Grammy, American Music Awards, whatever award, because it's the public's opinion. You know what I mean? Like if the, if the public says this person is that person, give them the fucking grant. Give it to them. Now who who you can I mean? talk to? to Did we ever to do something? No one. <laughs> <laughs> it's. I mean, it, it's real. I mean, it's not really hard to get in there. I mean, really, make some calls. it's like make some calls. You got the right manager. manager. I'm ready, Sloan. Let's go. Let's go. I'm ready. When they open, but I'm. I'm. I'm probably. I don't know. Um, I'll probably go to Let the me next. Let know one. when I'll be there. I'm ready. Just Let's to, go. you know, I look real good. Don't worry. I'll, I'll, I'm ready to go. I got. You. Oh yeah, they you get a free dress and all that shit. All that shit, is, it, everybody, everybody, everybody's going to dress you. What you, what you're going, and you, and motherfucker, though you're going. Oh yeah, what do you want? I'll wear. I'll put you. What dress you need? What kind I'm of jewelry? You need? I'm like, this shit is crazy. Now. What day is it? <laughs> I didn't walk out of there with a few suits <laughs> that amazing. I ain't paid for. <laughs> But you know, like I said, it's it's pretty cool though. Appreciate I would, I, I you know, sharing, checking the screen, you're spilling some exclusive tea with the one and only. I am Sloan Bone. Share, follow, sharing, tappy on that screen. Don't forget to follow, share, tap on that screen, and uh, let's spill some more tea, guys. What was your favorite collaboration? Would you say? Uh, numerous. Top ones, top ones, easier maybe. I mean, notorious thugs for one, because like nobody thought Biggie Smalls was gonna rap like that. <laughs> like who thought? Oh, they're dangerous. Ain't too many can bang with us. Straight up, we no angel dust. Label us notorious. Look at niggas that love the bus. It's straight to us. Y'all niggas be scrambling, gambling. I'm just working with man of them and violins. We just sitting there trying to win, trying not to sin. High up weed and lots of gin. So much smoke, need oxygen. Steadily counting Benjamins. Nigga, you should too. If you knew what this game and do to you. Been in this shit since 92. Look at all the bullshit I've been through. So-called beef with you, no who. Fuck if you feel my stars or two. And the blue light niggas move like Mike. Shit, not to be fucked with. Motherfuckers better duck quick cause me and my dogs love the buck shit fuck the luck shit strictly aim no inspirations to quit the game spit your game talk your shit grab your gat call your click squeeze that clip and hit the right one pass it we either got to fight one all them niggas i got to fight one all them hoes i got to like one my situation is a tight one what you gonna do fight or run like who thought he was gonna scrap that shit like that a little freestyle on the spot y'all give it up mr i am sloan the whoever thought big he would do i was like amazed at that but some of my um other collabs has been dope too like i got a, a friend of mine his name is crooked eye and if a lot of people may or may know of him he signed to eminem but i honestly think this is the best fucking rapper in the world <laughs> like i can't like i don't know nobody who can be if y'all don't know my man his name is king crooked crooked eye if y'all don't know him his wordplay is crazy. His vocal, his lyrics is stupid. Like, and I'm not saying this just because he's from Long Beach. I'm telling you, the dude is top notch, top tier, top five, two, whoever. You know what I mean? Well respected, man. My, and I got numerous collabs with him. And then um, I got one, like, I got a few with Twister. Like, I got one coming up with Tech Nine. I just talked to my boy Tech Nine. Um, so, you know, and then of course Pac and Easy and all that. You know what I mean? That's that's good. We ain't gotta talk about that. You know, that's just you know, that's just what it is, man. So yeah. Oh, Tech Nine is your boy. Yeah, Tech is my guy, man. I love that dude, man. We going to the Chiefs game, Chiefs Raiders. Me and Tech Nine to be at that goddamn game. <laughs> and it's in Kansas City. I told him I'm coming to Kansas City for that. How many songs, albums or EPs would you say you've done in your life? Oh shit! <laughs> okay, we'll start album. Okay, let's go album wise. Um, hmm. Oh, the shit. Face of the dev creeping on the combo. Eternal, Motub. One, two, three, four. 
um, Dub Twins, New Revolution. Shit, probably at least. I mean, just off the top of my head, because I, I go through so many shit. Um, probably at least 20. 20, 20, 20 21, 22. Oh my God. Uh, yeah. At least, at least that. You know what I mean? What <clears throat> and I ain't gonna talk about the bad albums I did. What would so, you say your favorite song that you still play today is? From, from, one of, from us or just period? Um... It's a song called Two Songs. I got one I did with the Horseshoe Gang called Lyrical Murder. I play that shit all the time. And the other song, and it's only it's only lazy, crazy, and busy on the song, but it's called Down Seventy One. It's on East. It's on the Eternal album. Five list. I love that damn song. I love it to death. So them two right there, full rotation for me. What would you say your biggest achievement as a group would be? Would it be the Grammy? Would you say that's the biggest? Or is it something else? Mm -hmm. Definitely the Grammy. Because it's two of them. It's th actually two three. No, no, two. But two people. Two Grammys. That's amazing. Uh, that and... Getting the um, let me see, like probably getting the Michael Jackson award. There's nobody else has one. Seriously, one of these You know what I mean? I mean, but it's been numerous things we've done, like in our careers, to be like, you know, life changing, like shit. But those two right there is just like, you know what I mean? Like, all right, we recognize y'all, man. It's all good. Congratulations on all your amazing success. <clears throat> um, you're so welcome. Thank you. Uh, what would you say the worst experience of the whole group was? Mm. Shit, we always fight on the road. Now that that leads me to like basically how many performances would you say you do a year? Would you say you do a year? Or does it vary? Um pre COVID we do pre COVID because I know obviously it's first time to come back. Yeah. Pre COVID one hundred and eighty to two hundred a year. Oh my <clears> god. <throat> What what is the farthest place you ever traveled for a performance? Mm, I would say China. No, like a, where the fuck did where Japan? Japan. I would say. Do you Japan. still go yeah. overseas, or you still keep mainly uh, U.S.? Okay. No, we do all that, but. We do all that, but pretty like COVID shit has this shit haywire. Like I just read today, France bans unvaccinated. You can't go to France if you're unvaccinated. So I just read that shit today. I'm like, wow, that's crazy. But my thing is this: like, if if I if I ran this motherfucking country or any country, I would want to be not pushing the vaccine so hard. I would push for people to be not not affected. You know what I mean? Not infected. I would I would rather you take tests than make you take a vaccine because of the simple fact that you can still get you can still get sick even with the vaccine. So I would rather you be non COVID, I COVID free than you got a vaccine thinking you're fucking the a fucking you're. You're above everybody. You know what I mean? I would. I mean, like, I have no problem with people taking a vaccine. I don't care what you do with your body. That's that's you. That's on you. If you think that helps you, so be it. You know what I mean? But to come in my establishment, I don't want you to. I don't give a like give a fuck if you got the vaccine or not. I want you not to be infected coming in this motherfucker. So if I test you, go get tested. 
before you come to my establishment, cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, that, you come to my shit exactly. any day. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't care. But now, the problem is you got people, you know, with the vaccine that's just infected, but they don't know that. And giving it to people who's, whether they're vaccinated or not, you can give it to whoever. It don't matter. <laughs> It is what it is, but you know. So, with that being said, like we will go not overseas, right but with this fucking, we're not going. I'm not fucking that shit, man. No, I'm not. I can't. But once again, I have no problem with people who do take it either. Choice. Do what you do, man. Right? You know what I'm saying? Personal choice. That's, that's all I'm. It's all you. You know what I mean? I'm not going to sit here and talk bad about you if you take the shit. Like, oh my God, I can't believe you. Did. Like, that's on you. But, and vice versa, don't think bad of me either for not taking it. You know what I mean? Only way I can give you something if I have it. If I don't have it, I can't give you now, shit. You know what I mean? More fun time. What's the Bottom line. craziest performance you ever had? Like, the most iconic, legendary, oh my God, performance that you still talk about today? Like, Uh, Japan. Japan. Anything crazy happened in Japan? Like, no, it was <laughs> the crazy shit. Is I'm wondering. I'm like, how the fuck do they understand what the fuck we rapping about? For one, <laughs> <laughs> that that was for one. I was wondering how the fuck do they understand what we said. Because I'm I'm just looking in the cr but it was dope. It was dope as hell. I mean it was just a sea of people though. A sea. It's like it's 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 like so many people you can't even see the back of the motherfucking thing. Like you look to the back, it's just like it's just so many people. So and it was fun, it was crazy because like they act like they knew the words but really didn't know the words. It's shit like that. <laughs> it's like when it was fun though. It was just like they, the reception there is crazy. It's wonderful. There in Australia, we Australia is always, we did the soccer field in Australia. It was crazy. It was off the hook. You know what I mean? So that was, that those two right there for me, my that's my personal. Like those, my Craziest personal. Craziest thing that happened to you on a tour bus. Any crazy stories like, I know, bus broke down. I don't know. Something, any crazy like that? I don't know yeah, if you on the side of the road for hours. You <laughs> missed the concert. I mean, something like that crazy. Like, anything? <laughs> yeah, hell yeah. We tried plenty of buses broke down. Like, shit. Man, call buses in and shit. Man, we we had some cold fucking crazy times, man. Some crazy, crazy times on that road. I mean, it's, 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 it's crazy because, like, I remember one time, my brother, the Lazy Bone, is fucking with, like, there's, let me see, one, two, three, four, six. There was 12 beds in there, right? So, I'm on Lazy Bone on top, on one side, I'm on the other side. So, he fucking with, he's fucking with Crazy Bone, and he whisked in the back, right? There's a door, it's like a, a room back there. So, he's fucking with him already, he talk, talking shit. I'm like, shut the fuck up. I'm like, leave them niggas, like, leave them alone. And then he chill out for a minute. I'm like, then he open this thing because we got curtains. He open this shit. He be like, Sloan, bro. I'm like, what? He like, watch this. <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck are you finna do, man? Man, this motherfucker, man. He opens. <laughs> they chilling. They chilling with. They got. They people, some people back there too. See? So he he opens the motherfucking door and opens it from the top of the thing. Reach down, open. He said, "Man, what the fuck y'all motherfuckers doing back there, man?" And they looking at the nigga like, "Man, close the door, leave us alone." I'm like, "Leave them." I'm like, "Leave him alone, a dog. Leave him. Party. Leave him." <laughs> he like, and he you're right. And so he gonna wink his eye at me like. Like, watch this. That motherfucker went back there. He was like, 
He said, man, I don't give a fuck about you and y'all company. Them bitches want me anyway. I said, oh, my God. I said, dog, I see you got a fucking problem, bro. <laughs> He's like, fuck them niggas, man. I'm like, I'm like, man, you off the motherfucking hook, dog. Mind you, I mean, that's just, man, we didn't have fights and shit on tour. Man, we all kind of shit. Like, people don't never know. Mm -hmm. Like, because we show up to the show, like, ain't nothing Game happening. face, game face, huh? We show up to that motherfucker, like, <laughs> yeah. we're all, we all family. Man, we didn't have fights backstage. I remember beers being thrown on stage. Cause, <laughs> from us, though, and nobody else. If we we were doing the bullshit. <laughs> hey man, I'm telling you, I would never take it back for nothing in the world. But at the end of the day, we got each other back though. You can't fuck with us. One thing you're not gonna do with us is fuck with us. We 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 we'll kick some ass. Family. That's that's what family. we will do. Right. Every. Yeah. Ass. <laughs> we gonna we kick some ass. That's what damn. Sure. Craziest fan story or stalker story. A crazy groupie story. I don't know. Groupie fan stalker. I mean, st yeah, stalkers, man. This this fucking. I don't know if you call them stalkers. Well, obsessed man, well, fan. Obsessed fan. <laughs> yeah, I gotta put this. Like, you know what I mean? Like, how do you? Because like uh, people follow us every fucking where, but we cool with everybody. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? We cool with everybody, but people follow us everywhere. You know what I mean? And so we'll be certain places. We'll see somebody pop up and be like, "Hey, dog, did this motherfucker just come to the tea here too? Like, what's this going on? Like, just fuck, motherfucker. Like, I'll be like, this shit is crazy." And then the whole time, if the craziest shit be this though, because we other motherfuckers would be like, "Damn, how the fuck they just show up like this?" The whole fucking time, the per motherfucker, we the motherfucker on the bus ain't telling us that he invited the motherfucker. I don't know. I'm, here. I'm, I'm like this motherfucker is crazy. But bro, <laughs> I'm like, who the fuck is the who invited? Motherfuckers looking crazy like they didn't say it. I'm like, hey, dog, this motherfucker just ain't drove from way the fuck over here to way the fuck over here. You know what I mean? That didn't happen. Like, man, that's crazy, man. Thank you, Sophia. Yeah, that, I mean, we, I mean, shit like that happens all the time. Like, I just seen fucking girls leave their husbands to come hang with us. Oh my god, do you have a crazy iconic <laughs> party story that you can share with us? Like, like. Touring on tour, the craziest party story. I don't know, like, I don't know, like, smashed a hotel room. I don't know, like, wrecked oh. a hotel room. I don't know, something crazy. Stole a car. I mean, something just crazy off the chain. Oh. Uh, shit, we sat on top of the police cars before. <laughs> it took pictures while it was in the hotel. We, we have, man, look, man, lazy, but when you, when you dealing with my brother now, man, this, they, they wild, we wild, we have, we have fun, right? we, police was inside, <laughs> police was inside, we was in Utah, sat on top of their car, taking pictures, they came out, like, what the fuck are y'all doing, <laughs> we was just like, we taking pictures, <laughs> I'm like, wow, this is crazy, bro, like, I, I mean, it's too many. It's just we do wow shit. It's you know, man. But I have fun though. You know, I, I can't I can't complain. I love my family. I love what we do. Um, I love the music and I you know, I love the people who support us and all that type of shit. So we just had wild ass time. Even in out the Any country, upcoming it don't matter. events that you're able to spill a little tea on? I understand you can't, but a little something upcoming you can share with us? Music video, maybe? Uh, I don't know. Big release? The next... The next... Um, well, me and Lazy got a, a new project coming out. Yeah, um, I don't know if we're going to call it Thug. We got one that called Thug Twins, but I don't know if we're going to call it Thug Twins too. But we got a new project coming out. And the next upcoming song 
I got is with me, Lazy, and Tech Nine. Um, what's up, uh, Nikolai? So it's me, Lazy, and Tech Nine. Um, and we are currently on tour. So I don't know where everybody is or where it's at, but we will be. Let me see. I got my other phone. I can tell you the where I'm gonna be at. As your phone share, um, tap on that screen. Give Mister I am Sloan Bowl that follow. Give me that. Let me follow. see. I'm still in some exclusive teas with the man himself. You guys are in any of these cities coming up. We will be we just left Detroit. We now Chicago. We'll be in New Hampshire tomorrow. New York the next day. The Indianapolis, Franklin, Tennessee, South Carolina, North Carolina, uh, St. Augustine, Florida, Miami, Florida, Belton, Texas, Houston, Dallas, Mesa, Arizona. San Diego, California, Hollywood Park, California, Concord, California, Portland. Um, we'll be in a lot of places. I got the schedule right here, but just follow us, man. I, I hope I hope y'all come out and support and have a good time. If y'all in uh one of those areas. Louisiana, I'm surprised we're not going to Louisiana. Um because we usually do the House of Blues and in, in, in the um and uh, what's they call that down there? Uh, the French Quarter. We usually do the House of Blues down there, for French Quarter. But I don't, Anything I don't know what's going on. But anyway, um, um, Coney. I, I don't think Coney, Coney Island is Are not Canada, upstate, right? Upstate New York area. No. Buffalo. Uh, <clears throat> I think we're doing Niagara Falls. Um, let me see. St. Louis. Why is this not the full schedule? I think we're doing Niagara Falls. Like, this is only up to November. Why? I don't know. Let me know. But Let the me phone know. I'm on right now got the schedule. <laughs> oh, I got you. Okay, Brooklyn is coming. Yeah, we're going to be in Brooklyn. I'll be in Brooklyn in two days. You know what I mean? So if y'all in Brooklyn, come hang out. We're going to be at the damn... Uh, we're going to be at uh, the Coney Island Ford Amphitheater. Brooklyn. I always wanted to go to Coney Island, too, anyway. <laughs> so I'm ready, I'm ready to go there, man. Are you involved I love any New York, charities New York. or causes that you want to tell anyone about? Um, I do um uh, I do the um uh breast cancer charity um for the Salvation Army. Um I do that cuz you know my my mom passed away from uh, breast cancer. So I choose to do that and I'm and I want to um I really want to get into um cuz I got asthma so I really want to speak for asthma patients. Like for asthmatics, you know, I had it since I was a kid, so I want to get into that. But I'm looking into that. Your mother. It ain't too many of them. I can't, I haven't found too many asthma. Thank you, child. Most high. Um, I haven't been. I haven't found too many asthma situations where I like foundations and shit. But it's been a few. Some the ones I did look up, I really kind of didn't like it because they really wasn't pushing the line like that. It was just whatever. But you know, but that's what I, that's what I do for the most part. Breast cancer, and I'm trying to get into the asthma thing. So very very cool. You know, giving back to the community. Truly, it's amazing. So, so a few more questions. Right. We'll wrap up here. How did you get into Bigo? Sorry, I, I have this thing. OCD. Eleven eleven. You make a wish. Don't say out loud. Type or text. Eleven eleven. Don't say out loud, okay, I make a wish. Got you. How did I get into Bigo? A friend of mine, um, Special K, mm -hmm. her name is Kalana, called me one day, like right when COVID was, you know, cracking off. And and then she called me one day, was like, I got an opportunity for you. I know you don't need it, but 
this is a good opportunity for you to come in. You can make money, this, this, and that. I'm like, all right, what, like, what is? And I kind of wasn't into it that much at first. And then she was like, trust me. But she's a great friend of mine. So she never would steer me wrong. I've been knowing her for years. So, and then she let me talk to, I ended up talking to Marlins on the phone. And he went to further detail on what can and can't happen. And so when he explained to me, like, how it works, I was like, you know what? Let's do it. I'm like, I'm cool. Let's go. Let's, I'm, I'm with this. I was like, I only got to do two hours a day. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's nothing. Or 30, you know what I mean? I was like, that's nothing. Cool. I can do that. And then, um, and then after I was doing that, and then he told me how I work and all this shit. Cause the first, I think the first week I got banned. <laughs> Are you a good boy or you a bad I'm like, person? You a bad boy? I, I didn't do that. So, no, not, I was not a bad boy. What happened was I was working out. Okay. I'm working out. So I, I I don't know what they thought they seen or whatever the case may be, but I'm working out. And the next thing I know, something comes up on the screen. You have been banned permanently. I'm like banned. I'm like ten years. I'm like who gets ba- who gets banned from an app for ten years? Like how does the fuck does that work? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like who? The-? So I had to call Martin. Like, hey, bro, like I just got banned for ten years. Off the- he's like, what did you do? I'm like, I didn't do nothing. I was just working out. I was like, I maybe adjusted my pants, my shorts. I don't know. I don't- I couldn't tell you. So they had to call him. Be like, hey, what the hell did this man do? For him to, you know, I end up getting um, banned and shit, but he's like, well, you didn't do nothing, but today's standards, whatever the case may be, it was, what I said, you know what, I know how to be, okay, I'll be more careful. I'll be a good boy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I can't. Okay. I, right. Let me see what, you know what I mean? But no, that that's how I got into it, though. Marlon has really told me, her, him and Special K, and, um, and this was before they was even in, uh, engaged or whatever. Um, this, you know, they, she told me how I, how I went and I was like, hell yeah, let's, let's get some money. I'm like money. I'm like, how much money? I'm like, cool. Let's work. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, let's, let's, let's get this. I'm like, I could do this, this and that. And he said, you can make this potentially every month. This is your profit. And this is what you put back in. And this is what it was. <clears throat> and if it wasn't for him though, I probably would have been somebody who had to recharge and shit. I never recharged. I, 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 you know, I'm not to brag or nothing, but I never went into my own money and recharged. I just kept all the money I made. I just kept it on the app and just reinvested in myself. You know what I mean? And then I also had the help from him and Special K <clears throat> to help me, got help me through and give me what I needed. You know, and not have to give it right back and shit like that you know what i mean so i was i'm blessed on that level you know what i mean yeah it was a structure they helped me you know what i mean and that's what i love about them because i mean i know everybody has their hosts or whatnot whatever but martin's will help any anybody that he likes that he's cool with even if he ain't that cool with you he's gonna try to help you in any way possible like, I know that dude, like, will go, he will go broke helping other people. You know what I mean? Like, he will give you the shirt off his back if it requires you to be warm for the time being. You know what I mean? He'll go, he'll freeze for you. I, if he likes you, he'll, I that's him. Him and special. I you know? talk, talk to him last week. I, I had, I was laughing my butt off. I, it was awesome. You know? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. He's a very funny dude. Like I love, him. I love him to death. Cause I, I talk to him, like we'll call, I'll, I'll call him, and I'll be wanting to know one question. I'll be like, hey dog, like what can I do? But we'll end up talking for two hours. Now, what's we say the best you know I mean? and worst experience of Vigo has been? Also, how long have you been on Vigo for? Um, yeah. probably like ten months or maybe a year now. Coach. Yeah. The best, I ain't really had no bad time. I, the only bad time, and I don't even think it was bad. It was just that the bad time was I was having a PK with somebody. And there was people from Kansas City, right? It was a it was a girl I was PK, but her dude was in the background. 
and I was just talking about Kansas City artists. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, my boy Tech Nine, I'm like Tech is from Kansas City. So the dude in the background, like, that ain't the only motherfucker from Kansas City that know how to rap. I'm like, hey man, like, I ain't, I don't know who the fuck he's talking about. He telling me like such and such, such. I'm like, hey dog, I, I don't know who you're talking about. But you can also tell me who the fuck that is, because I don't know. I know Tech now. You know what I mean? I don't know that person. He's like, that ain't the only motherfucking Tech in Kansas City. That... I'm like, hey, you, what you are going to do is quit yelling at me, for one. <laughs> I'm not no internet gangster, bro. Like, I promise you, I know a lot of I know a lot of people, man. And over there, too, where you live, I know a lot of people over there. So quit fucking with me like this. Like, I ain't. I'm just having a PK, bro. We just talking about music. You can't get mad. I was like, that was that was like the worst time, though. But the, the, any other time, it's like cool because like I like it when people don't know. Like they don't even know who they PK. Like it'd be me, and then they'll just finally be like, like what the fuck? This is you, such and such. I'm like, I remember yeah. you came into my broadcast <laughs> a few months ago, and like you know, Bone Thugs and Harmony, like. Wait, wait, what? I'm like, what? Get out of here. You know, I, I didn't believe it like at first. It's hard to grasp sometimes. Right. You know, it really is. Yeah, I'm, I'm definitely not one of them that's going to, like, over-exploit, like, who I am or what I do music. Well, I don't give a fuck. You know what I mean? I just like to meet new people and new artists. Like, this has been a good platform for new artists. Honest, I met a, a bunch of amazing rappers and singers on here. That I'm like, damn, how the hell y'all ain't making it? But I understand why. Because, you know, at the end of the day, you need money. So if you ain't got no money, you then play a tough game. it's, it's play. not irrelevant. Just saying, yes, you got my new, my new yeah. music video. And Put the very top. Delicious on my YouTube channel. Check it out. And I, I bring it the same. You're definitely, you're talented also. I don't know if the people know what you do. You know what I mean? So make sure y'all follow Alicia because she can, she do all that shit she got to. You know what I mean? She got her shit going now. You know what I mean? So make sure y'all follow her. We're going to do a song one day. Whenever you ready. Whenever you ready. Yeah, though. You know, <clears throat> Andrew Lane's my music producer, multi plan Award, Grammy Award winning music producer, Andrew Lane. You might have heard of him. High School Music hey. 1, High School Music 2, he's with the Warner Brothers. Let's go. So there are 50 million records. We might have heard of him. Right. Let's... Great hey. guy. Hey, good guy right there. Making this shit happen. I got so few funny. <laughs> <clears throat> and that's one thing. And I love a lot of artists that, and that's a lot like, that's a lot of artists that, and producers and shit who got a lot of accolades. They just in the cut, which is a cool thing. And like, it's a lot, it's cool people to work with. You know what I mean? And I, let's, let's make it happen. Do you Put have your own uh, label or? Well, yeah, we, we doing, um, <clears throat> we got, we got Mo Thugs, we got Harmony House and BTNH, BTNH Records. <laughs> So that's now, all together, you know what I mean? Do you have? But um <laughs> it's funny because I be trying to figure that shit out too. My brother gonna be putting people on all the damn time. I'm like, hey bro, how many artists is on this damn label? Who do we fuck with? You know what I mean? But I know for a fact, as far as you know, the people I do know is me, myself, then we got, you know, me, Bone, of course. Then you got Position Kane and my homie and Rocky Rock. Um, and that's pretty much where I stop at because anybody else is <laughs> like, I'm like, I don't know. <laughs> like, we got friends. They rap, do music and shit, but at least I stop there. So if you're not Position Kane, Rocky Rock, I, I don't. I, have nothing to, you, I don't the understand. Full service you know what I mean? thing. You do the management, so, yeah. the touring, the music videos, the promotions, <clears throat> etc. Like do the whole everything, the whole whole label experience. Yeah. yeah. I, um, no, I got a manager. I met my manager's house, but 
I will if I have to. You know what I mean? If I, it requires me to do that, I will. But it's even it's a lot of times it's better to do it yourself because you know what you like and how mm -hmm. you want it to be done. You know what I mean? So it's real. It's real easy for you know you could accomplish what you want to accomplish because you know how you want it to be done. You know what I mean? So in this day and age, it's like shit. You don't you depend on what you're doing. Like a lot of people got managers for no reason. I'm like, what the fuck are they managing? Like you're not that busy. Like I don't I don't know what the f <laughs> you know what I'm saying. It's like you got somebody in your business that don't need to be in it. You know what I mean? Like pretty much. Irwin, Irwin, okay, but you know that's, that's but sometimes it may, some people, some people, some people just like to have managers for no reason. I, why? I, you know, hey, fuck it. To each their own. To each their own. <laughs> to each own. If you want somebody in your fucking business for no reason, and you're not that busy, like I can see if you're like a busy artist or you're a busy whoever. You know what I mean? Then I understand the manager part. I get it. Because you can't do everything. You you can't. But <clears throat> when you not that busy, it got people that only do three shows a year that have managers. It's like, what the fuck are you man? Like, what? Like, <laughs> what? why? You know what I'm saying? It's like, but then again, hey, that's all good. Female it's good. Artist is saying, hey, my name's Lisa G. Nice to meet you. I got, well, we already I locked in. Right. I got you. We're going to make it happen. Me and you, we, you know, you know, you know how it go. You know how the game go already. See, I mean, that's the good thing I like because like when I, when I work with artists or, and they already know how this shit works, that's a big ass plus. You know what I mean? I don't have to guide you through shit, even though I might know a little more than you might know, but I don't have to guide you through the basics of this shit. You know what I mean? It's like, cool. We already know what we're getting into. We do this, bing, bing, bing. Okay, that's the business or whatever, whatever. And that's how we get out. And that's the great thing. You know what I mean? So, okay. right. we locked Damn in. It. We good. Yes. I'm ready. Black and white. You know, black for gangster, white for pimping. Let's go. Oh, yeah. We got to get it. We gotta get it. It's, it's mandatory. We got to get one. It's, 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 if, if, if it's not that, it's nothing. Absolutely. You know what I mean? So we just ask a few fun me. ones. Do you cook? Do you know how to cook? Do you like to cook? Yep. Yep. Seafood. I'm a seafood guy, man. Crab legs, lobster, um, garlic noodles, um, shrimp, um, salmon, all that. That's me. I, I can cook the shit out of some seafood. I can make I make other other food too, but like ceviche is my shit. I can make that. I'm good at making that. But Seafood. Seafood. Let's go. I can do that. <laughs> Favorite TV <laughs> T TV show or movie? I love One of my f uh, TV show, Mark, all day. Mark, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mark okay. and Law and Order. Law and Order. Don't get me started. I love my Law and Order. SVU. SVU. Yes. SVU. Benson Stabler. <laughs> That's why I have iced tea in there too, right? Yep. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, I can fix pasta, bro. I'm Favorite. I'm good with the pasta. Favorite sports I can make too. pasta like a bubble. Raiders. Raiders, football, basketball, Lakers, baseball, Dodgers. You know what I mean? I don't really I'm not too I'm not I don't really like soccer and shit, so I don't really care about that. You know what I mean? But you know, that's that's where it stopped. Raiders, Lakers, and Dodgers. Do you have any pets? Any pets you have? On the no, road. I used to. I, I I don't have time no more. I can't. Yeah, it, it ain't. They'll be home starving, fucking with me. What, <laughs> what do you like, do on your downtime? Final question. If you're not... Do you have downtime? What, do I, what is that? Sleeping? Like you're not. You're not. <laughs> well, yeah, but what I do, like, um, either I'm at the gym or like I write, 
Or I just watch TV on my downtime. Like, I just watch TV. Chill. And get on Bigo and get the Roman the Bigo streets. You're, you're there? <laughs> I'm just going to check for a minute. A half hour later, hour later. Oh, my God. I'm still on Bigo. How is this happening? Right? <laughs> oh, right. Oh, my goodness. For real. <clears throat> Fresh seafood in the Gulf is amazing. It is. I like wild caught seafood. That's for damn sure. One last, any but, um, advice you yeah. to any upcoming artist while you're experienced? Um, just stay consistent, persistent, and true to yourself and don't fall in the trend. You know what I mean? Because everybody that became legendary or famous, per se, and, and had longevity, always was different they never sounded all the most legendary people that you could think of none of them sound alike you know what i mean none of them so stay yourself and don't follow the trend and you'll be all right mr i am slumbone thank you so much for sharing all these fun crazy amazing stories with us and spending time with myself on Spill the tea with Lisa G and the whole AG army. It's been an absolute pleasure. Truly, thank you so, so much. And congratulations to thank you, uh, Bone Bug Harmony, and all your <coughs> accomplishments. What an amazing achievements. Bless you, family. Thank you. Thank you for much. It's all love. Thank everybody for who tapped in. If you follow me, I'll follow you back and make sure. The new song we go, me and Alicia got something coming, I promise y'all. So don't even trip. It's coming sooner than you think. So nice meeting all of y'all. Alicia, thank you for having me. Shout out to all my brothers. You know what I mean? Thanks, Nikolai. You know what I mean? Thanks to all my my people out there, man. So be on the lookout. I might be in your town soon. You know what I mean? Solo, what up? I see you. <clears throat> I might be in your town soon. So y'all come out. If y'all want to know, let me know. Hit me up. I'll let you know where I'm going to be at. Alicia, I'll be talking to you soon. Um, Thank you for having me. Your for social it. medias real quick, too, for everyone. Okay. I'm a, I got Instagram, I am Sloan Bone. Um, Twitter, I am Sloan Bone. Facebook is Sloan Bone 1 and 2. And the other one is Big Sloan. Um, shit. I'm going to tell you like this. YouTube, I am Sloan Bone TV. Um... If you don't know, just Google Sloan Bone and everything can pop up. Everything you want to know is right there. From my damn bio to everything is right there. You know what I mean? I got my website, IamBigSloan.com. So, yeah, y'all make sure y'all check that out. And I do drop all my exclusive music on my website before I drop it anywhere else. That way, all the people... Who, who follow me and who are a fan, we get it first before anybody. You know what I mean? We don't let nobody get it. Then after we get it and we have it, we locked in, and we locked in, then I give it to Spotify and iTunes and shit. Then they can do what they want to do with it. But before that, it's all my people. So make sure y'all follow me. Y'all go to IamBigSloan.com, and there it is right there. And now all my music will be up. It'll be a link and all that. And once you get it from there, I give out T-shirts and merch, all kind of shit. You know what I mean? And to all the... Have I eaten alligator? Yeah, I had gator bites before. Especially from Papa Dose, bro. Papa Dose alligator bites is fire. You know what I mean? I never thought I would like it, but alligator tastes good in the motherfucker. <laughs> but yeah, um, thank you, all, man. Alicia. You ready for the screenshot? Wonderful. There you have it, the one and only, the big I am Sloan Bone, the talented, the handsome, the ladies man, the partier, the one and only, the big Sloan Bone people. Give it up, Mrs. Sloan Bone. Boom, boom, baby. It was truly an honor, and thank you so much. It's totally a pleasure. Thank you so much, and best of luck. Safe travels, and uh, much you love too. from myself and the AG Army. You're awesome. Thank you. Ha, 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 ha.
All right, Lisa. Thank I see you. you. Thank everybody. That was amazing, ladies and gentlemen. You have just seen and witnessed an exclusive spill of tea with Alicia G and the one and only I am Sloan Bone, the Big Bone, who is absolutely amazing, Grammy Award winning, the one and only Sloan Bone. Every Thursday live on Bigo, spill the tea with Alicia G. 7 o'clock p.m. Pacific Standard Time, which is 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you for being you. Thank you amazing. And remember, guys, all social media, Alicia G World. Be sure to follow me here on Vigo, my Instagram. I post every day, my YouTube channel, once, twice a week or more. And more social media, www.alishagworld.com. All social media, alishagworld.com. Hit that bell for notifications. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thanks for being you. Thank you for being amazing. And uh, I love you all. Boom, boom, baby. Brr.